Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get free, absolutely free loot from the Last Wish raid on all three characters. You can get Deep Sight Resonance chests and you can get the weapons with the new rolls, which, let me tell you, some of the rolls are pretty good. A rocket launcher with bait and switch. Reconstruction. I'll take it. So, I'm going to show you how to do this on all three characters, but... On one, I'm going to show you on two characters, but on one character, I'm going to teach you a new skill if you don't already know it. I'm going to teach you how to shatter skate. And I know that already there's some people getting their excuses books out. Oh, I can't do it. I've tried it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to try. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I am doing it on controller. So anybody can do this. You literally need you to press three buttons quickly, one after another. That is it. That is literally it. I'm going to try and show you the timing and yeah hopefully you'll master that because the timing for the wall the the hunter shatter skate is the exact same for the warlock well skate but on the warlock there is another way to do it so i'm going to show you both ways so in the video you can see me making my way to the wall of wishes uh we're gonna do i believe shiro chi first uh so when you get there the wall is going to be completely blank just a load of what, 16 black squares or whatever it's 20 black squares uh, circles squares jeez i've been wearing these glasses too long i'm gonna show you how these these uh circles uh yep 20 black circles when you shoot each circle it will change and it will run through a cycle of every time you shoot it it'll run through a cycle of symbols this is the exact combination of symbols exactly where they are now you need to take note of that this is the shiro chi checkpoint that third one down from the middle you don't shoot that one at all you just leave that blank once you've checked it and you've got that exact flavor of symbols you walk on it will say you want to stay here forever no we want to get in and out asap and this is us we are at shiro chi so uh, apart from this first really bad jumping section because it's been a while since I've done this so uh, yeah that's my excuse anyway did it work? Did it work? sounded good right? Uh, so to do this on all three characters you're going to have to come in here on all three characters and put the code in can be a bit laborious if you have someone on your friends list who can join you come in, put the code in as soon as you land they can join you at the Shiro Chi checkpoint. They can join you. You can get the chest. They can go and get the chest. And while they're getting it, or while they wait, you can switch character and then rejoin them. And you can bring all three characters, and both of you can, like that. Power level doesn't matter. It does not matter. If you haven't built your other two characters, but you've got them, just bring them in anyway. You don't need power level to come in here. And you will get Weapons, armor. The armor from Last Wish is quite good as well. It's decent stat roll, most of it, 60 plus anyway. I've had some really nice rolls out of here. Uh, but as I say, I've I got the rocket launcher uh, with explosive light and incandescent, and I got the bowl with explosive head uh, from the first run of these chests. So as I say, you can do them, you, you can get this chest on all three characters. I'm next, which is this. This is the exact. Uh, combination of symbols you need for Morgoth. So, so this now, you go back, once you've done Shiro Chi, you would start all over again, reset your checkpoint, come back here and put that code in exactly as I have, and it will teleport you to Morgoth. This is where you're going to need Shatter, Shatter Skate. So I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing I want you to do is go into your settings, and where it says controller, you see there, custom, go to custom, your controller layout, go down, and change your air dive ability to bottom d-pad and press the button to single button to activate so you don't have to hold it you just have to press it once to activate it so once you've done that we have as you can see we've got a sword with eager edge we are not going to use light attack we are going to use heavy attack so it's heavy attack followed by jump followed by shatter dive so because you've, if you're using the same combination buttons that i am it will be your right trigger whatever your jump button is, and down on the D-pad. So you can have your fingers over all three of them at the same time. It's the timing people get wrong. So people either do it too slow or whatever. You've got to put your sword away, because when you pull it out, you'll see on the bottom left, you'll see Eager Edge appear. 
Eager Edge needs to be up on the screen for this to work. And it stays there for about five seconds. So as you can see, no problem making that jump. The timing is kind of one, two, three. <laughs> oh, that's not going to help, but you can match your button press to that speed. One, two, three. It's, if it'd be any quicker, they'd be at the same time. Right trigger, jump, and then if you've mapped, this, we'll just say you've mapped it the same as me, it would be right trigger, jump, down on the D-pad, in one fluid motion. Brr. Just practice it. Honestly, you need to be close to the edge so that your heavy attack throws you off the ledge, but you're almost, well, you are. You're pressing all three of those buttons individually, but almost at the same, almost at the same time. And you should finish your button press well before the sword animation finishes. So it's like, let's, it's really fast together, but they, ha they can't be together. They've got to be separate. Give it, practice it. Once you get the timing for this, warlock skating is exactly, exactly the same. Both of them are the same. Where I'm showing you now, once you've got that chest, if you follow the route I'm taking now, until first spire comes up on the screen, which is right through this door, you have to wait here if someone's joining you, because if you're anywhere else, they'll join up at the Morgoth part. You wait here till they've joined, you go and get the chest, then one of you has to come back here and wait for the other one to switch character, and then you switch character. But you have to be where it says first spire. Now, this is the Warlock, so we're going to do the Warlock well skate to start with. You have, you see there my super, I've got it as a single press, so I don't have to hold the button, I just press it once to activate my super. And I'm going to, you see there, I'm mapping it to the same button that I mapped Shatter Dive to. Now, if, you, if you're not comfortable using these buttons afterwards, just map them back to what they were before. And it's exactly the same. Heavy attack off the edge, jump down on the D-pad. All is one fluid motion. So you see, I've got my sword away, pull it up. You see, Eager Edge stays there for quite some time. I never lined my, let this be a lesson here, I never lined this jump up properly. And I nearly didn't make it. But because we're doing whale skate, I'm not using any of my boost. So I still have full boost to bring myself back up. So that's how to whale skate. Remember, put your sword away, get to the edge, bring your sword back out. You'll see Eager Edge, heavy attack, jump, super. Now we're going to show you the other way to do it on the Warlock, which is just using Dawnblade with Burst Glide. Now you do have, make sure you've got Burst Glide on for Well Skating. And what we're going to do, I've, I've got Icarus Dash on and I've got uh, Heat Rises. So I've, put, I've consumed my grenade to get Heat Rises, jumped up in the air, and now I'm just going to use my Dash button while I'm in my Super because you basically get Icarus Dash for the whole time you're in your Super. Now I'm playing on PlayStation, so uh, my Dash button same as most people on PlayStation, will be circle. I think it equates to red on Xbox and map it to whatever you want the dash button on PC. This was all done on console. So it took me maybe about 20, 30 tries to get the whale skate to the point where I could do it consistently. Once I could do the whale skate, I could do the hunter skate first time because it's exactly the same, exactly the same timing. And I mapped the buttons to be exactly the same as well. Titan does it really easily. Line rampants, a sword, catapult lift. And you just have to manage your boost. So you'll you'll boost up in the air. You'll cut your boost off. Leave it a second. Then sword swipe. And then continue. Boost, cut off, sword swipe. Line rampants recharge your boost the longer you're in the air. And because you're only using a little bit of boost each time just to throw yourself up in the air, you save all of your boost. And line rampant gives you maybe about 50 to 70% more boost than you would normally have. On catapult lift, it feels like more. But as you can see, once you learn to do it, I'm going to fly straight to the chest here. And that is how you do it. Just remember when you're at Shirochi, someone can join at any time. And when you're at Morgoth, you've got to go all the way down, follow the route I took until you get to the first Spire checkpoint. Make sure you wait there till they land. And when you're switching characters, whoever's staying has to go back there after you get the chest. And there you go, guys. That is how to get six pieces of loot from the Last Wish armor every single week, including Deep Sight Resonance weapons, weapons with the new perks, and some decent armor. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope that helps you, and I hope you stick with that. And I'm talking to you guys, who, who the guys that are like, nah, I can never do that. You can do the shatter skate. You can do the well skate. 
keep practicing. Leave, leave a comment and let me know if you managed to get it. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.